quiet on set, please. Thank you. Good day, YouTube. Today we have some Thanksgiving outfits. You know, my style, my style, my style. If you've seen any of my videos, most of them adhere to no rules. But I thought for Thanksgiving, it's a little bit disgraceful if you show up wearing anything. So I decided to put together this outfits lookbook idea for you guys. Help you figure out some family friendly outfits that will let you go to dinner and not, you know, just have an easy Thanksgiving. Nobody's gonna be like, excuse me, what are you wearing? I don't think anyone would say that, but you know, could be, I don't know what your family's like. My family, they don't really understand fashion, so they're kind of just like, what? What are you gonna, are you gonna say about it? Here are 10 outfits. We'll help you decide what to wear for this Thursday. I hope you guys like it. Before I move on, don't forget to follow me on the Instagram. And if you do already do, you know, this first outfit is a little bit familiar. So let's get to it. Like I said, this one was on my Instagram recently. I mean, a very similar outfit. I was on set for a Princess Polly social media, so I had a couple different accessories. For example, my slides were green, and the tote that I was carrying was like this really furry, fluffy bag. I don't have that, and I assume not many of us do own a fluffy tote, so I just went with a regular canvas tote. I love these trousers. These are from Princess Polly, obviously, but they're in the petite section. They fit me so well. They're the archer pant. They're my favorite trousers. I wear them all the time in other lookbooks. Obviously, in the other ones, they were too long. So I'm very happy that I have these pants. And I love the pinstripe on it. I really think like the whole trouser and slide situation should be more common in outfits because I think it looks great. A little switch up of the vibes, you know? The look of trousers go very well for Thanksgiving just because it's a little bit more, a little more done up. Like you try, you know, it's a family event. It happens once a year. But I also wanted to dress it down a little bit to make it a little more comfy and like warm, warm and cozy. Same pants, I put on a t-shirt with a sweatshirt over it. Went with the all gray look. I'm just wearing some Vans. Hopefully yours are cleaner than mine. And then for this outfit, I wore a little white purse with this one to just make it a little bit less slouchy, less like, oh, to just like put on a grout fit, you know? I also really like this one because it's super comfortable and I know you're gonna be eating a lot. So if you wanna unbutton your pants under this, it's not gonna be seen and that's, Really key, really key. I think a collared shirt would also look great underneath this if it's longer than the sweatshirt, so peek through the bottom. Have a little bit more of a preppy look to it, if that is your style. This outfit I actually wore to a Friendsgiving. It was very comfortable. I highly recommend these pants for Thanksgiving because they're drawstring, but they look like trousers and they look very put together. But it's like a waffle print, or not print, but like the texture. It's not just a solid pant, which makes it so much better. It also falls incredibly well on your body. This is from the brand Timu. You'll see a couple other pieces in this video from that brand, but they are such an affordable website. I have to share. These pants were only $15. And they fit so well. I haven't found a pair of pants that look quite like this. The color and the texture, the way it fits, makes it look way more sophisticated than it really is. And it's it's so comfortable. Like you can eat as much as you want on these and you, you'll be fine. If you want to get these pants, they're having a Black Friday sale. So make sure you wait for that. It's up to 70% off. And if you use the discount code, which I'll put in the description, you get an extra 40% off. Like just PSA. And then I haven't worn a blazer in so long. I remembered that I had this one and it just goes with this outfit so perfectly. So I'll definitely be wearing more blazers as it gets colder. I love this top if you haven't seen it in other videos. It just makes your waist look so snatched. Like a nice vest top, you can't go wrong with that. So I definitely think a vest top and trousers is a cute look for Thanksgiving. It like covers everything up yet gives you shape, and which is really nice. This one is actually my top favorite. I think I'm gonna wear this for Thanksgiving. It's a little bit uncomfortable just because of the boots. But I assume I'm not going to be wearing them. I'm not going to be like standing up the whole time. Just such a cool look. I love, you know, these longer cargo-ish skirts. If you saw one of my previous hauls. This one has a diagonal ruching, which I think is super cool. Paired with a sleeveless, almost like mock neck type of sweater. It just, I think it looks very put together. I look a bit like a grown-up, you know? And I kind of want to show up to this event looking like a grown-up. Got my stuff together. But also it was just cool. Like this is a cool outfit. Paired it with these knee-high boots. They're crocodile print. Or not print, but texture. And they're cream, which goes perfectly with this outfit. And then to top it off, a little hounds too purse that actually was a crossbody but i just like looped the strap inside the bag a bunch of times to make it shorter which is a hack if you didn't know try it out for any bag that you want to make into a little purse 
All right, this one's a little bit more casual. I want to include all types of vibes. I don't know what kind of dinner you're showing up to, so. This long sleeve, $7. $7! And I never get long sleeves. I don't know why. I always forget to add it to my car, but I'm really glad that I have this one. Crinkle pattern on top of the material. Super smooth on the inside. Very nice to wear. I just paired it with these cargo pants and then my Vans. Ugh, they're so dirty. And then the main star of this outfit is this teddy fleece. Love the green and white. How could you go wrong? It's so warm. Super duper warm. I had to stop filming because I was getting so sweaty. Sorry, this section's a little bit short, but I just, I couldn't. I was so warm. But definitely a nice addition if you live somewhere really cold because it's cute and doesn't look super bulky or anything, but it is definitely keeping you warm. So here's my little casual outfit. If this is more your style or this is more like the type of function you're going to. This next one also features a cargo skirt. This one's a little bit longer, so I wanted to wear it with my Converse high runs. I don't know. I just felt like a sneaker would work better with this than a boot. So for this one, I wanted to make it a little bit more slouchy, like comfy. So I have this open knit sweater off the shoulder. It has a little bit of distressing underneath. I would also think it would really cute with a high neck tank top. Kind of like a 2000s type of vibe. I tucked in the sweater into the skirt in the back and the sides just to make it a little bit more slouchy, like falling on itself kind of freely flowing because we're just we're just hippies over here you know chocolate purse to match the shoes you know tie it all together make it look like a unit and here is your comfy look i feel like this one also really easy to just eat as much as you want and no one will be able to tell that's what i was really going for when i made this lookbook Next outfit I actually wore to an event, and if you haven't seen my last haul, this top, this sweater vest arm warmer moment was in there. It is so warm. It is the best sweater I've worn in a while. Not only is it cute, but it is functional, and that is highly important here. I love an arm warmer moment. I don't know if you agree, but I think they're super cool. I wore these with some parachute pants. Again, comfy, comfy, comfy. Don't want to wear anything too tight on this holiday. Just my leather Oxfords. To go with the shoes, I wore this black bag, which is also in my last haul. I think it is such a cute black bag. It has so many details. I feel like it looks a little bit like a Balenciaga design, but it doesn't look too much like it, that it looks like a, like a fake, you know what I mean? I don't really know how functional it is though to eat with arm warmers. I haven't really tried that out. So let me know if you wear arm warmers to dinner. Hi guys, <laughs> if you can't tell this is a new day, evidently the sunset was really hindering my filming. I really tried to recreate the hair and makeup so I could do the last three outfits. I'm really glad that I had to refilm these ones today because I remembered that I got these nails, the ones that I'm wearing right now, and these ones, also from Timu. And I just really wanted to tell you about it because these were 140. Look how cute they are. The little clouds on it. It's like really really nice. They're under two dollars I just want to let you know because if you know anything about my channel, I'm a huge supporter of press on nails I think getting my nails done is like way too expensive especially because I'm in dental school So I can't really have them on for that long, but I'm on break now so I can They did come with like the sticky gel pads to apply it But I glued them on because I feel like those last longer Just want to hop on real quick before we move on to the outfits to tell you about these nails because they're a steal But I have nails different person so Brute with Nails is now coming during this video. For this outfit, I started with this mock neck backless t-shirt. I think the back is so cool. Obviously, it might not be the most appropriate if your family doesn't really like that much skin. I don't know. But I just thought it was a cool shirt and it's also the only mock neck that I have. This shirt was only $7 and I really love how it looks. I feel like it would be great for the festivities, Christmas time. New Year's. Definitely a cute back, but I covered it up with a leather jacket just to keep it a little more conservative. These are my favorite street like jeans right now. And then I just paired it with my black Oxfords, accessorized with this little green purse. Um, you can't really tell because the lighting is so shit. I don't even understand how to film in my room anymore, but it's a little crocodile emerald purse. I thought it'd be cute. It's a little accent to add. Flip bopping right back to the dressy looks. This maxi dress is from Princess Polly. And then I put this little shrug. I think that's what it's called. It's not bolero. I think it's just like a shrug. I, I don't know. Anyway, a cover up, but also a little bit of skin shows through. To top it off, I wore these knee high boots. I would recommend one that is more tight to your calf just so it doesn't poke through the dress. But this one just happened to match the little shrug better. So I went in this. I really love the maxi skirt and boot look. If you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. It's so easy to wear and it looks great. This patchwork purse that is not sold anymore. I love it. It's so unique. That's all for this outfit. I feel very elegant in it. So I know it's white. Just try not to get food on it. That's all we can hope for, right? 
Then we're bringing out these stunning green boots. I actually wore this for my Halloween costume as Mermaid Man, but they also work in an outfit. I actually threw these on and meant to put the pants over the boot, but then I realized I kind of love how it looks tucked in. These are just some trousers that are also from the petite section of Princess Polly. I really like this tucked in look. I feel like it adds a lot of length to your outfit. It's giving horse girl vibes, not that I ever was one, but I did have Felicity as my American Girl doll. On top, I just had this corset. Literally any top that you like works here. I just, I picked a random one. And then this cute trench coat, which was also my last tall super warm definitely something to wear if it's super cold where you live and then this is how it looks without the coat because obviously you'll probably be eating without a coat on thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you found some outfits that you can wear this thanksgiving if you do end up recreating any of these i would love to see them so make sure to tag me on instagram oh don't forget to follow me on instagram quickly before i go i just want to say thank you so much for all your support thank you for watching me for commenting for just for just being here because i wouldn't be here at all if it weren't for you guys i hope you all have a safe friendsgiving thanksgiving whatever it may be have a great time if you like this video and you're new here make sure you like and subscribe other than that i will see you in a later video bye guys <laughs>